but in this video we're going to do a walk around of the new Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. Now as you guys know this is the 4S so we get that all-wheel drive with 443 horsepower which is plenty for a car this size. Now as you guys know this is the replacement for the 991 this is the obviously the 992 and uh, completely new for this generation so this is the base model 911 well actually when I say base model it goes 911 Carrera 911 Carrera um, S and then you get the 911 Carrera 4S and um, of course with the 4S you get the all-wheel drive and with the S you get that 443 brake horsepower. I believe with the base model you get the 379 uh, brake horsepower but what we're going to do is we're going to unlock the car. As you guys can see we uh, have the door handle pop right open. Of course we get some really great Porsche sound effects in the background but um, yeah so the door design is a little bit different from the uh, the previous generation. Um, I'm a not necessarily, I don't love or hate it, but um, anyway, so um, once you come inside, you're greeted kind of with this nice lighter colored interior. We have the Porsche engraved right here, and um, as you guys can see, we're greeted with a the, kind of the newer style uh, steering wheel. And I will say, ever since the Porsche 918, their steering wheels, they've been doing it so well. And uh, of course, with the, you got the paddle shifters in the back. The paddle shifters, they kind of, they feel just like you would expect them to be. Um, there's no play at all, and uh, there's really, really satisfying clicks. Unfortunately for today, we will not be driving the car. Um, I'm just here to do a walk around, but uh, maybe at a later date, we will do a drive. And I know you guys want to see that, because that's what I like to base my channel off of. But anyway, so um, we'll go through some of the options. As you guys can see, we have the uh, Gentian. I'm gonna totally butcher the name, and I know you guys are gonna you guys are gonna let me have it in the comments. But uh, we have the Gentian blue metallic paint. So uh, that's that kind of that deep dark blue, which I'm a huge fan of because, as you guys know, my GTI is uh, that dark uh, midnight blue. Um, so this is the uh, the slate gray slash. Uh, chalk colored interior um, as you guys can see it sort of wraps around the entirety I mean you have it right here you have it here and of course this is all leather all of this is leather as well and um, we have some contrast right here this is not a carbon fiber I don't really think it's supposed to look like carbon fiber but um, it's uh, it's a newer looking and it's a different material I've never really seen it before in a car so on the door we have our mirror controls we have our window controls right there obviously it's a two door so two windows so those are our two window controls um, it's a little bit weird one of my one things that I don't necessarily understand I don't necessarily know if these buttons do anything but they're blank and I don't think it should be in a car like this of this cost um, especially because this thing will sell at hundred and fifty thousand dollars which is a lot of money <clears throat> um, I believe a base model uh, well let's just say uh, an option 4s would sell at maybe let's see so 120 and then this thing has about let's do the math nearly thirty thousand dollars in options so in fact uh, yeah nearly thirty thousand so uh, one thing I will say is storage space is not too bad in a car like this. Um, of course, you have a frunk in the in the um, the front of the car, and you can. F I'm pretty sure you can fold the rear seats down. Um, I think you can also get the car without the rear seats, and uh, then you have plenty of space. I've always thought of these cars to have really good space because they are rear engine, not mid engined. Um, so the engine's all the way at the back, so you have a lot of wiggle room um, as far as storage space. But uh, yeah, so overall, um, this car is a, is a really, really nice spec. I would definitely get these seats. In fact, with the paint color itself, I think it really, really goes well together. Without further ado, let's start it up. Foot on the brake and twist this. And there you have it. So to clear all of the uh, information here, what we're gonna do is just hit this a lot of times and there we go so that is um, that's pretty much everything so as you guys can see here we have our time and the temperature outside and see it's 93 and I can tell you it's very accurate turn the fans down just a little bit and a lot of it so you can hear me um, that exhaust is pretty loud um, it's so for a turbocharged six cylinder it does sound pretty good obviously it's not gonna sound like a GT3 but um, it does have good sound and I will say compared to the previous Carrera 4s uh, it sounds really really good so um, uh, but anyway, so it's currently in a cold start, I believe. Um, that's why it's revving quite high. So as you guys can see, and uh, we're going to just figure out these controls right here. So to adjust your volume, that's this toggle. And um, to scroll around um, all of the uh, information right here, all you do is just use this toggle. Um, and uh, it's pretty, it's not too bad to understand. Um, I will say it's, it's 
a lot easier than other um, systems. I can definitely vouch for that. Of course, we have the cooled and heated seats. We're actually going to use those cooled seats right now because I am sweating. Um, this car is also optioned out with a sunroof as well. So the sunroof, I think in these cars, it looks really, really good. It's uh, It spans a lot of the cockpit because it is a smaller cockpit, but I will say visibility overall is really, really good. Um, it's In 911s, it's always been really good, but especially in this car, it's pretty good. Um, as you guys can see uh, by the wide haunches in this car, the wide hips, it's very wide, but I don't think it's any more wide than the previous generation. It may just appear that it is, um, especially with the uh, the new taillight design. So now that it's done, it, it's cold start, we'll, uh, we'll scroll through here. So as you guys can see we're just in normal mode um, this is sport it's uh, it's gonna rev a little bit higher and it's gonna get rid of that engine start stop and uh, sport plus I believe I think sport and sport plus don't change anything with the valves they just stay open um, we'll give it a couple blips in normal mode so you guys can hear that So, you know, not, not too throaty. And then we're going to put it in our Sport Plus setting uh, with the valves open, of course. And so, yeah, so that's kind of how the car sounds. It sounds really, really good. Um, as I mentioned before, we're going to have our time, our temperature right here, our speedometer, our rev counter, and all like the really, really information, the battery voltage, your oil temperature, your oil pressure, and of course the fuel um, at the top. So um, of course we have our oil temperature right there, water temperature. And uh, yeah, so um, this thing has all of the stuff you need to know. Of course, it is a Porsche, so it is engineered really, really great. And uh, yeah, so overall, I really, really like this interior. Um, this thing obviously has a lot of options, so you'd expect, you know, it is, it has to be a really, really good car for the price, and it is, I can definitely say it is. Um, but yeah, so hopefully, you know, I have the chance to drive this thing, but uh, without further ado, we'll walk around, we'll give you guys a quick, uh, sh kind of, we'll show you guys uh, the exterior of the vehicle, and uh, I'll kind of wrap it up there. So here we go. All right, so at the front of the vehicle, um, I like to think, and I pretty much, this has always been a thing, I feel like the front and Porsche 911s do not change drastically over the years, and I think that's a good thing because the overall look, I think really, with by changing it, it's going to change the entire vehicle, and I think they need to keep this look. Of course, they keep building it up and keep making it more modern, um, but obviously without getting rid of that really classic look. So um, I really, I'm glad Porsche doesn't change it because it looks awesome. Of course, we have this newer, more open area um, as opposed to the older, and I don't think there's any. Oh, that's an old, way old generation, but uh, um, I don't see any 991s around. So these wheels, I believe, are an option as well. Um, I really, really like them. I think. They're one of the best looking wheels for this uh, this generation. Um, not a drastic change from prior years, but um, you know, it does really, really look good. I like, um, they're not overdone by any means. You have kind of just two different color uh, going on. You have the, obviously the silver and kind of the gunmetal gray. Um, and as you guys can see, the, these are the sport um, side skirts. I believe this is also an option. All right, so going around the vehicle, one thing I do like is, of course, with the um, sunroof, you obviously get this blacked out, and of course it follows to the rear. I really, really think it looks good. It has great contrast with the black to the uh, darker blue. Um, you going around here, all of these cars, and I think it's brilliant that it has this because you guys can see we have a lot of dirt and potentially even bugs, but uh, we have this PPF film um, to keep the paint from uh, chipping because, as you guys can tell, this fender flare in this rear, it's it's wide. It sticks out a, like a long ways. All right, so on to the back. As you guys can see, this is the most controversial, and I think a lot of people overall, I think a lot of people like it. Um, you have this LED strip right here, and uh, you have the brake lights on each side, and I really, really like that design. Um, one thing I don't necessarily know if, you know, I'm growing a little bit with, and I know I think they're kind of copy the GT2 a little bit on the rear. I really like this new 911 badge. Um, it's very retro, kind of harks back to the older ones. And of course we have Carrera 4S. Um, I also do really like that Porsche design. It's very, really, it's very 3D and I think it pokes out a lot and I think that's the whole point of it to uh, kind of advertise their brand as these cars go by. I mean, obviously you're gonna know what it is, but um, I think, yeah, overall it looks really good. But uh, yeah, overall, I really, really do like the look of this car. If you guys want to see me POV drive it, I know I ne don't necessarily uh, do the most fantastic reviews, of course, doing walk around. I do a much better driving style. I find the best roads. And uh, But if you guys want to see me drive this thing, let me know because uh, I really, really do like this car and I like the way it sounds. And I believe 
and I just I've never driven a 911 I've only driven the Cayman but uh, if you guys want me to drive this thing and uh, you guys want to see that firsthand let me know because I'll, I'll be more than happy to do a POV drive and work with these guys at Porsche of Stratum um, without further ado I would like to give a serious thank you to Porsche of Stratum for letting me do this today um, and I, I can't thank them enough for this because this is a great opportunity but anyway thank you guys so much for watching the video um, if you guys want to see more things about this car let me know and uh, we'll end the video there so thank you guys